Good morning, class. I'm your substitute, Miss Bobo. Mr. Mayberry couldn't make it to the art room, so you're stuck with me, and you're going to have to deal with it. It says to draw a tractor from the front, but that sounds boring. So instead, we're going to draw a mermaid. Because, you know, like, that's better than a tractor, right? It's art time! With... Miss Bobo. Let's get busy! Remember class, a substitute teacher always comes prepared. Today, you will need paper, a pencil, and possibly some crayons if you'd like to color. This is how mine turned out when I was finished. I drew two just for funsies. It's Aquafina and Sue. Let's get started. So here's my piece of paper. I have it going hot dog style or up and down. So let's get started. For the start, we're gonna make the mermaid's head. The easiest thing to do is to like make a U shape like this. And then for the bangs, hair kind of thing, I like to make little ruffles kind of like this. It gives it more like flair. So then we would start putting the body. We're going to put the neck here. And add her arms going out this way. After that, we're going to put the other side of the arms going this way. And give her all her little fingers. Now it's time for the body, so the body is going to come in kind of like this. And she's going to have her tail going out this way. And then at the end, we give the tail the little end, like with the fins. And then put a little curve kind of like this to end it. And I kind of like to outline that curve around the edges like that. So then we can move on to the hair. I like to put it right a little bit below the shoulders. And then maybe Meg bring it around this way. And kind of circle it back this way. Kind of makes the hair a little blown up, but that's okay. And then we're going to put some eyes, make some little oval kind of shaped eyes. And to make them look kind of cute and sparkly, I'm going to curve this part and then put another little curve down at the bottom. And then fill in the other part that wasn't in between the curves with pencil. Gives it a little more of a cute look. And then you can give her a little smile or something. And then we'll add the little circles right here. You can add a couple, maybe like hair lines in between her hair if you want to give it extra color or look. You can color this if you'd like. There's our project for today, a mermaid. So how did yours turn out? If you like mermaids, check out the puppet mermaid. Now have a nice day and follow your heart. Look at this fork, isn't it neat? Oh, it's stuck.